love Euro. Absolutely love Euro. Um, and everything surrounding it. It's free, um, uh, you know, power in a way around the track. It's worked incredibly well and all I've done is this plywood splitter here and obviously the chassis mounted wing on the back. Now my splitter isn't just the front, you know, portion like people do under the bumper, it actually goes all the way back, uh, about 1200 back. Yeah, so basically um, I got an idea. The idea involved chopping the front off and that was the whole mission behind all of this was to do a ducted radiator set up. Uh, you can see the front bumper over there which I'll go get shortly. Um, and make the most efficient setup I possibly could. So if we move over here and have a look at this intake if you will to the radiator um, you'll see that it's curved you know nice curve up there that's to try and aid obviously air flood um, yeah so one third of the radiator um, height for here is optimal intake um, this length here is calculated as well uh, from the research I did there is also a as you can see there's a baffle plate in here um, it's just going to help air flow attachments because this is a pretty steep angle. Um, I'd be concerned that airflow sort of detaches up here. Um, so this this baffle here basically just goes on a bit lesser of an angle um, just to help that attachment and make sure the top of the radiator is getting getting the air it needs. Uh, oil coolers in there. Now this oil cooler is the smallest oil cooler um, you can see there that I've ever run. I'm a little bit concerned about it, but with this whole setup, I'm remaining positive. Um, yep, so there's also a duct which comes out of here into that hole of the bonnet. So, what I might do is bolt all this up and um, give you a look as it's all together. So, uh, this is what the ducting looks like all bolted up. You can see radiator sandwich in the middle. Intake straight through and out out the bonnet. Um, yeah, so this here is obviously I still want to be able to get to spark plug, etc. Um, the idea is that this merges the air back into the flow coming over the top of the bonnet uh, as smoothly as possible. What you don't want is air that just basically pops straight up and disturbs the flow coming through here. Uh, it's not ideal at all. Um, so that's curved as nice as it can get. Now if I shut the bonnet. Uh, that gives you a bit of an idea how it sort of blends back in. Uh, I've left this high here, small gurney flat. That does just kicks the air up just helps create that low pressure zone um, which is where you want it um, dumpings, dumping air out into you never want it dumped into a high pressure zone that's like putting vents at the back of your bonnet um, it's not ideal at all, you always want them towards the front so given I'm trying to seal the whole front off so basically the air goes in through um, the radiator intake hits the front of the bumper and goes around the side or of course goes underneath the splitter. Um, I've got some concern about the obviously the engine bay temperatures um, and the lack of airflow. Worst case is I think I'll put some vents either side of the ducting. That's no no drama. But um, this has been this has been a layer of love. This has taken so bloody long. Um, to get right and bend up all this sheet metal and, and weld and blah blah blah. Um, so the radiator is a V-dub Sirocco, yeah Sirocco radiator, which is perfect, it's small, uh, just tucks in there nicely and um, should do the job. Uh, these are the, the new hood, bonnet, whatever, stays. Just that there, just catches the pin there, sits on there very nicely. 
Um, I see catch can now. This isn't baffled behind these. You know, most people come out the front. I simply didn't have the room. I'm going to give it a crack, see how this goes um, out the back and into the catch can. If it, you know, if it starts pumping too much oil out, uh, I'll probably have to whip the cover off again and weld my own baffle in there perhaps. I'm just not sure how it'll go. I think it's going to be okay, to be honest. But, um, yeah, wait and see. So what I might do now is I'll chuck the uh, front bumper on, which is over there, and give you an idea of how it sort of comes together. All right, bumper's on. Um, excuse the red. It's a red gel coat, which I was using to try and fill in little bits and pieces, which I believe is quite a big mistake now. Um, yeah, so ignore the red. Um, so yeah, you start to get a bit of an idea of what's going on. Um, I've sealed up the holes which are in the bumper either side. Um, obviously this hole was, was quite large before. It's now sealed up and um, I've got these bits of aluminium which sort of tuck inside the ducting so all the air is literally forced in, into here. Um, obviously I have to seal this to the splitter as yet so yeah that, that's that's it as a package this is what the dream is um, and it's almost there now what I am going to do is probably remake the front splitter out of foam core um, and then maybe fiberglass I'd like to add a carbon but it might be a bit dear foam core with either carbon or fiberglass we'll see um, and actually make it go back under the car but further than it does now so currently it ends just behind the engine probably about here I just want to bring it to about here as the first piece um, so then I can actually attach it to the floor of the car with probably some slot and brackets underneath because um, what's happening at the moment at high speeds down the um, front straight is this back of the splitter this splitter is literally attached at the front chassis rails just down there and down there and that's it it's two attachment points so what's happening is the back is flapping um, and of course that's disturbing air I mean the splitter is absolutely fantastic but it's not quite optimal at the moment so we'll get it to that point um, so yeah, with the new splitter planning on obviously the two chassis mount points which I just showed you uh, One uh, two points Basically in the foot wells on either side of the car So it's going to be a little bracket that the back of the splitter just slots into and then The front is also I've got these protruding uh, From the bar just behind the bumper here Which will obviously attach down to the front of the splitter and stop any flex at the front so we'll have two four six attachment points and um, yeah it should be hell of a lot more fun. so the the next stage will be running a flat floor and a diffuser um, like I say the first part, the part of the splitter I'll have to coming roughly here and uh, then I'll plan to do a center part you know to about here and then I'll begin the design of a diffuser of some description um, up in there. I may look at the way that this wing's mounted, possibly, I'm not sure, but that'll be down the track. I've got a feeling that the new aero setup on the front is going to be extremely effective, possibly rendering the wing not as effective, but we'll just have to wait and see. Um, I've still got plenty of angle of attack I could. I can add into this wing. I set it basically as low as it can possibly be um, at the moment. But yeah, that's a bit of an overview of the car. Catch up with what's going on, and we will we'll get the splitter and everything made. Headlights made. Get it back on the track. Get some testing done. So I've actually um, done quite a lot more on the car. This video is a few weeks old now. 
um, just haven't done anything with it due to the oh, I just I'm no good at editing <laughs> for one or filming for that matter um, and I don't know if people are interested or not but hey here it is and I'll just chuck it up get a bit of an idea of the aero goal that I've got here um, but yeah now I've got a full carbon splitter which I've built myself um, I'll go into that perhaps I'll make another video and, and show you that how it mounts um, diffusers that I've added into it and as we get closer and closer to a test day I'm hoping within the next uh, few weeks I'll get out and I'll be able to report back with some some positive information as such um, as to everything that's gone on but um, yeah I'll maybe this weekend I'll fire the car up for the first time since everything has gone on and yeah be one step one step closer I'll show you around it a bit more. Alrighty, see you on the next one.